Hello everybody. What I want to do is a quick demo on how you can bring in uh, signals into your uh, Win Radio uh, HF receiver from an ICOM R7000 through the 10.7 MHz IF. So what I've done here, I've wired up a coax cable between my R7000 and my Win Radio. What's important to note from an R7000 is that it puts out a DC voltage on the uh, IF output. I think it's, that was to run the TV uh, adapter that can, uh, was available with the R7000. So that voltage needs to be blocked, so I have a DC blocking connector in my coax line. You can see um, some leakage from uh, high, high strength uh, HF signals getting in through the coax here. These are some broadcast stations. But you can still listen um, on the uh, win radio with the 10.7 IF as long as you're not uh, being interfered with with one of these stronger stations and you can dial around and, and avoid them so uh, I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do, the uh, R7000 is presently turned off and you're not seeing anything being displayed here. What we're going to do is come around here and turn it on and I've got it uh, dialed in to 162.55 and NOAA weather radio station. I'll turn up the volume on the Excalibur here and you'll see and you hear the NOAA station coming in there at 10.7. You see another signal over to the right which shows higher in frequency here about 10.85 uh, megahertz on IF. That's actually a lower frequency NOAA weather radio station. We'll go tune it in here and I'll turn up the volume after I peek it up and you can hear that uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lower strength station but it's also being received uh, well. Um, you can actually move these stations around on the wind radio by turning the dial on your R7000. So, so I'll go back to this, uh, this strong signal here and we'll turn the volume up. If you want to go up or down the dial, let's say you want to go up the dial to a higher frequency on the wind radio, you could turn this, the knob on your R7000 higher and you see it chase it up higher or you come back to where you were. Um, there's actually a usable bandwidth of about 20 megahertz or so from the R7000 so you don't have to be on 10.7 and I find that uh, mine performs well somewhere around uh, 5 or 6 megahertz uh, with a little bit better stronger um, uh, uh, stronger uh, signal strength. So uh, it's quite wide and you can uh, do a lot of playing with it and um, you can use this to monitor aircraft, uh, VHF, public service, uh, any, anything in the range of the R7000 you can, you can uh, put it right here at 10.7 plus or minus 20 megahertz and, um, and, and look around and see what's going on on the spectrum. Um, so um, you can also use, you, you, in some radios I guess you could use the frequency offset feature of the Windows ra uh, Win Radio Excalibur, but in this case uh, as the signals on, to the right which might appear in higher frequency, they're actually lower in frequency on the R7000 so it's not exceptionally useful. Um, you could add in a, uh, a frequency for the, for the offset to make like an index, so maybe a thousand megahertz or something, or a hundred megahertz, to um, to show an index of plus or minus, uh, plus higher or lower frequencies. So, but anyway, this uh, it creates a nice little display of whatever it is you're looking at, and we'll just come in here at the the hundred kc uh, wide option of the uh, wind radio, and you can see this NOAA FM station coming in nicely right there. So a lot of possibilities here with what you want to monitor, aircraft, hand, the whole uh, two-bitter handband or, uh, or um, uh, 440 handband or whatever it is you want to see. The wind radio generally has enough um, uh, bandwidth and so does the R7000 to monitor um, uh, bands plus or minus, uh, I find, about 20 megahertz. So I'm going to play with it on the air, aircraft band and I hope you have some fun with it.